Oh. Dude, are you excited about yes. this? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Joining us now is a man that we could not be more excited to talk to. A man who just won an ACC tournament championship. A man who's wearing the face shield. We were wondering if he was going to wear it, Tate. <laughs> Josh Pastner. Uh, oh, now he's taking it. Now he's taking it off. <laughs> I'll lower it so you can hear me better. <laughs> Appreciate it, Coach. <laughs> coach, uh, you guys, th this has been a wild season. You've become a star of this college basketball season. I'm sure you're aware of this. Just the, the face shield, just your positivity <laughs> that's exuding from, from every, every interaction we get to see of, of, of what you have going on with your players. Um, it, it's been, in a lot of ways, a dream season. There's, there's still work to be done, though. Uh, how do you, now that you're, you're sitting here on the, on the precipice of an NCAA tournament, having just won an ACC tournament, how do you not like just celebrate what you've already accomplished? How do you how do you stay hungry? How do you keep your team hungry and say there's still work to be done here, guys? Yeah, I mean, look, I mean, we obviously first of all, thanks for having me. Of course, and coach. Uh, we're, we're 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 you want to celebrate the success? I mean, you know how hard it is to win an ACC tournament championship. That's five top twenty wins we had this year because. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, beating Florida State last night, you know, they were 15th in the country. So it was our fifth top 20 win um, in this league to have the player of the year. Yes. And then and then not only the player of the year, but also the defensive player of the year. And they're two different players. <laughs> and we're at Georgia Tech. How <laughs> many blue bloods are in this program, in this league? And we're at Georgia Tech and we're getting all this done. And, uh, man, it's been awesome. Uh, you know, I. You just don't take it for granted. I know how hard it is to win games and to win in this league. There's so many great coaches. We got Hall of Famers, future Hall of Famers, so many pros. But but um, uh, but we're, we're 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 excited. We're excited about playing in the NCAA tournament. It's been over a decade since Georgia Tech's been there. It was over almost 30 years since Georgia Tech won an ACC tournament championship. Yep. So uh, we're moving forward. We, we, we broke a lot of records this year, did some things that hadn't been done in the last 25 to 30 years in Georgia Tech basketball history. And uh, we're excited. We play Loyal of Chicago Friday. Uh, they're a great team. And people have asked me, well, do you feel like your seating was a little low? And I was like, hey, you're in the tournament. And everybody's good. I don't care who you play, what the seed is. You got if you want to advance, you're going to have to beat someone good, and that's just the bottom line. And we're really honored to be part of this tournament. And, and coach, we have to ask this because you mentioned Moses and you mentioned you know Jose, and you talk about you know those guys being able to become stars in the ACC. But you know Moses didn't even have a D1 scholarship at one point. Alvarado, you know, didn't believe he was going to be able to play in the ACC. A lot of people like Titus and I at the start of the year, we didn't know what Georgia Tech was going to look like. We kind of maybe you guys wrote weren't you even guys practicing off. five on five, coach. Yeah. <laughs> So, so what does it feel like to be that underdog and to be that Cinderella story? Because it, it has been great for us to watch. Well, heck, we were we, we lost our first two games. I didn't know how we were going to be. I was like, oh, my goodness, this is not going to be good. <laughs> Obviously, because of COVID-19, we, we, we avoided trying to get shut down. Uh, yep. and, and so the best way to avoid that, we did not have contact practices, any body-to-body -body contact. Mm -hmm. Obviously, that ended up biting us in the rear the way we started the season. But – um, look, a guy like Moses Wright, think about that. His two scholarship offers, Georgia Tech and a Division II school in the state of North Carolina. <laughs> yep, yep, from Raleigh. Uh, that's it. I mean, Cata yeah, Catawba, that's, that's it. Think about that. Think about that. Jose Alvarado, a three-star recruit. I had more people tell me, Coach, what are you thinking recruiting this guy? You're at Georgia Tech. <laughs> that league is all about big guards. And, but you know what? Jose's big thing was winning was more important than breathing. Mm -hmm. And I knew we had to have a guy like that. And so I'm so proud of both of these young men. I mean, both are going to graduate from Georgia Tech. Both have played so hard. Moses Wright's development. Unbelievable. I mean, he was, into, he was a tennis player and a swimmer. <laughs> he didn't even pick up a basketball until his sophomore year of high it's school. It's very Tim Duncan. And now the guys he – now listen – he wasn't the player of the year in some small little league. The ACC, can you believe that? It was the ACC, the best college basketball league in the country. That's right, Coach. This guy's player of the year. It's, it's an amazing story. What a great lesson for people in life. Any, any parents out there, their son or daughter isn't highly ranked or recruited, 
Follow the Moses Wright story. Yeah, go it's to a great Georgia story Tech for, for people to follow. Coach, we'll let you get back to your team and get ready to to, to play the Fighting Sister Jeans. Um, but before we before we let you go, <laughs> one more question. Our friend Mike Rutherford uh, has pointed out that that part part of your what what has made you awesome is your face shield. Th- thank you for wearing it. Yes, by the way, it's on so the, the good, interview, coach. it's so good. Uh, he he has suggested <laughs> that because in in light of all the success you're having this year. Should you perhaps pull a Richard Hamilton and even in a post-COVID world continue to wear the mask even though you don't need it because this is just like a good luck charm for you? Can, wear the can we shield, possibly coach. see this into the future that you just keep wearing the face shield? You know what? I, you know how many things have been sent to me about these new air filters that look like these space helmets <laughs> that you put on your head and it's like this, 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 this new air system that goes on? I was thinking about that because, Please, you know, to, to wear, to, to, you know, Obviously, the face shield has a, you know, there's air coming up underneath. I was looking at something where you can put on your head and cover every aspect of it. Yes. You know, people have asked me, why do you wear the face shield over the mask? One, I feel like when you're coaching in the mask, like you almost feel like you're, 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 you know, suffocating. It's hard for me to coach and talk in the mask. So the face shield, it allows at least the players get to see my facial expressions. I don't move it up and down. I keep it down. And it has been good. People have liked it. And um, I feel comfortable coaching in it. Um, you know, I don't mind the face shield. I usually wear sometimes, you know, like you saw at the start of the show here, I was or my interview, I was wearing the mask plus the face shield. But uh, in the games, I wear the face shield. It's been going with me. We, the guys like it. They called me the welder. They think like I'm a handyman. Yes, at an engineering and they, and school. They call me the welder. But I'm like, I'm like. I, I can't even screw a light bulb. You know, I don't know how to well, do any of that stuff. You know what I mean? So maybe in theory I look like the welder, but I couldn't do I'm not a real handyman. Coach, we appreciate the time. <laughs> Best of luck in the tournament. A great year either way, but, God, yes. we love you, Coach. Yes, you, Coach. Please get an astronaut program. helmet. Please get the helmet. Anytime. I appreciate it, guys. And, and if you want an, if you I, I, if you want a signed uh, face shield from me, it might be worth you know, 50 cents or oh 75. Oh, my God. Please, <laughs> Coach. Please, please. Please. We're begging you. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. Best Thanks, of luck. Coach. Good luck. God, See you guys. If you don't love Josh Thank Krasner, you, you are out <laughs> you of your mind. You don't get college basketball. Hey there. Thanks for watching Titus and Tate. For the full friend of the program experience, subscribe right below and come join us for all things college basketball. The action is heating up. Come join Titus and Tate.